Hey guys, so this would be like a follow up to um, the previous uh, video I did on the Nintendo NX having the cutting edge chips and um, being very powerful and um, about that tech demo. Um, so of course after I um, posted th that information from um, the author of that article from the Wall Street Journal and his follow up information there was a lot of um, uh, speculative uh, people to say the least <laughs> about about that um, in my opinion it, they're just kind of in denial um, that's just my you know first instinct is that they'll try to um, discount anything they can um, to, to a certain point um, the haters at least you want to call them haters haters in disguise really um, uh, a lot of a lot of people th uh, were saying, "Oh, you know, you don't know what that what that means." You know, industry leading chips, cutting edge um, chips, technology. What does that really mean? You know, well, what do you think it means? It means cutting edge technology. It means industry leading chips. It means the best in the, its class, right? And the excuse against that um, I've heard is that, um, well. That could just mean industry leading chips for a portable device, you know, and that can't really mean um, it's more powerful than PlayStation 4, you know. But uh, what you guys have to remember is that the original Wall Street Journal article that um, Mr. Uh, Muchizuki <laughs> Takashi posted is that the um, developers were pretty much under the impression that the NX would have industry leading chips due, now listen to this carefully, due to um, the Wii U um, not being able to compete on a uh, technical level with Sony and Microsoft. So if they're having industry leading chips and cutting edge tech in their portable device, does that mean that the portable device is going to be competing with the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One on a technical level? No, I seriously doubt it, right? So if you use some basic logic and put these things together, you will you can understand that what they're referring to is the console technology will have industry leading performance and tech in the console the chips what's made out of the, the you know the things are making the graphics and the computing power industry leading does not mean leading everything in the world like better than pc it doesn't mean that it means industry leading meaning as in the industry in which that console is competing in which is the console market the PlayStation 4 was developed in 2012, released in 2013, and it didn't have the best um, GPU and definitely not the best CPU at the time. The CPU, in fact, has been criticized over the years, over the last two years since it's been released, as being underpowered and actually causing slight bottlenecks with the GPU. The GPU on the PlayStation 4 is... Um, while very good at the time, it wasn't the, the best that they could offer. Um, but for the price, um, it was a you know it was a good move for Sony. They released it at three ninety nine and it sold really well. But here we are in two thousand fifteen, and it's been reported that AMD has a design win. They're they're releasing for a you know a games console for a video game device that's been that they didn't announce obviously because they said they were going to wait for the their partner to do that which obviously is Nintendo the only company that is releasing a games console next year so they released a design win for a new um, AMD uh, processing unit either an a they didn't say exactly if it's an APU a CPU a GPU but usually these consoles are going to be using APUs so It'll be a CPU graphics um, GPU co combo similar to like the PlayStation 4 uses, and so 
I'm just saying, guys, I, um, I don't see the confusion here, really. Uh, if you release a product that has the most um, powerful uh, components, is that the industry leader right there of that particular, you know, um, segregation? Yeah. Of that of the console market? Yeah, it would be the industry leader as far as how powerful it is. As far as the tech demo is concerned, I'm just quoting what uh, the guys, you know, told me from the Wall Street Journal. He said that under current conditions, it would be impossible to run that demo on um, unless you had a cutting edge uh, chips. Impossible to run on um, a PC, basically, unless you had you know high end CPU and GPU. Is basically what he was getting at. So um, he didn't specify whether or not that meant it was more powerful than PlayStation Four, and, and people are seeming seeming to hold on to that bit of info that oh he didn't say it was more powerful than PlayStation Four, so. He re we really don't know how powerful it is. But, like I said, and I'll repeat it one more time, he is a journalist, and he most likely did not even ask that question, is this thing more powerful than PlayStation 4? No, he was most likely um, asking about the NX itself. He wasn't really asking about PlayStation 4. That probably wasn't his job to do that. And he's a journalist, and he's not um, probably not in the tech industry. So all he was told was that the NX would have industry-leading chips, cutting-edge technology, and the newest PCs could not run the tech demo that was being shown that was extremely impressive um, without having a good, a really good GPU and CPU to run it. Granted, that doesn't mean the console is more powerful than a PC. It could just mean there's some um, language between the dev, the dev kits and, and the demo and the PC that is not optimized for PC. That's quite possible. But as far as it being more powerful than PlayStation 4, I don't think there's a question about it. Um, from this information, it's pl it's plain as day. You got to <laughs> you got to you can't deny that industry leading chips for a console would make it more powerful than PlayStation 4. That's just a fact right there. If I'm mistaken, I'm I would be, you know, surprised really on this. It's not really that hard to understand, guys. All right, we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great one.